Office365Adoption.com has a ton of features to maximize your investment in Office 365. Brand your site with your company logo, enjoy level one and two automated help desk, quick start guides, how-tos and step-by-step -step learning, adoption plans, business scenario identification, departmental Office 365 guides, automated end-user communication plans, videos, and more. Plus, built-in metrics help you identify what your users are looking at the most. Let's take a closer look. Office365Adoption.com is a website full of information designed to give your users the information they need quickly and efficiently. We see that organizations that use an education portal have much more productive employees. Let's take a look at Office365Adoption.com. Here's your company logo. Here's the user that's currently logged in. And here's our menu bar. On the left side of our menu bar, we have the user-facing links, and toward the right side, we have the administrator-facing links. To get started, here's a very simple introduction video to Office 365 that takes the concept of all the different applications and services and explains them very quickly and easily to your employees. Here we have a drop-down list of all the 365 Quick Start Guides that will have your employees up and running in no time, no matter what application or service they want to use. Let's take a look at what we have. This is always going to be up to date depending on what your organization needs. Later on, we'll explore how we can add and remove certain PDF guides depending on what your organization needs. Maybe I need help with PowerPoint 2013. Here's a quick start guide full of information to help me understand quickly what it is I need to start using this application. Here, we're going to see the organization's vision for Office 365. We've got four preset visions for you to choose from, or you can write your own. If you want to add something else to this page, we've got a field later on in the admin section that will let you add whatever you desire right under the vision statement. And then below your vision statement, we've got a chart that covers the old ways that things were done, and now the new way that things are done using Office 365. Heading back to our menu bar, we've got a list of several how-tos. There are numerous articles here on all different types of things that you might want to do with Office 365. What if I need to set up my Android phone? What if maybe I need some more information and help with Word? Maybe OneDrive for Business has me a bit stumped. This is going to give your end users dozens to hundreds of different articles and links full of information, including some of the quick start guides we looked at, as well as a ton of other things that are going to help get them on their way. Here we're going to cover different business scenarios that your organization might need. For instance, how can we run more effective meetings? How can I make my organization work like a network? Next up, videos. We know that your users are very busy. We know that they need the information quickly so they can get on with their day. There are dozens of videos here covering all sorts of different things in Office 365, from the extreme basic to the very advanced. If you think that something belongs here and you don't see it, let us know. These videos are very goal-oriented and designed to get to the point quickly. Most of them are less than 60 seconds. For your administrators, we've got a list of shortcuts to help them support and utilize Office 365 from an infrastructure level. And finally, for end users, automated help desk. All they need to do is type their email address, then choose from one of the five most popular questions within your organization, or choose a specific category and subcategory.
Maybe the thing that they're looking for just isn't there, so they can type whatever they'd like. When they click Find My Solution, they'll see on screen as well as in their inbox a listing of five of the most likely things they need to respond to their question and an easy link to click to say that this is definitely what I wanted or that this is not what I wanted and I need my actual help desk to contact me. Your help desk will get an automated email stating who was requesting help, what they were looking for, and what we already presented to them. Your professional help desk can take it from there. That's it from an end user perspective. Let's take a look at what the admins can do for us. First, let's check out our reporting. Use reporting to find out exactly what it is your end users are trying to get help with. This can help you identify some trends that you can combat with a simple lunch and learn. You can either have the reports on a click or you can have them emailed to you directly. Finally, let's take a look at our settings. Here we can change our company's logo. Here you can see what kind of content we're displaying on our Office 365 adoption site. This is going to be reflected not only in the PDF documents, but also the information in the how-to section. Depending on how often you want it, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, we'll send you an email template for you to then copy-paste and send out to your entire organization. This is going to provide tips, tricks, and news for Office 365. This will help keep your end users more engaged, continually adopting the new services, and very productive. Here's that section that we talked about earlier where we can choose our vision statement. This is where we can add that extra content to our getting started page below the vision statement. Keeping your time zone up to date is going to ensure that all of your reporting has the correct times. So now you know a little bit more about Office365Adoption.com.